is that the backpack actually has features other than just copying code. So obviously one of the things that we've gone over a couple times is that when you take code out, so I'm just going to go ahead and throw together a couple things for my ballerina right here. If you go ahead and put a couple of blocks together, and let's say that you want to go ahead and put it on another sprite, all you have to do is drop it down here into the backpack, okay? And then if I wanted to go ahead and call up another ballerina, I could actually go ahead and drag it and just drop it in. Pretty simple. Most of you are pretty familiar with this. Um, that's pretty easy. However, the nice thing is that you can actually go ahead and drag in three other things. So the first thing is that you can actually go ahead and drag in whole sprites. So for those of you especially that are working um, still on week three gaming this week, it would probably be a great idea to go ahead and utilize that because if I were to pull this back out and then I click on this third ballerina, it's got the same exact code that the other two ballerinas had. So if you have a game that requires multiple sprites of the same nature, you can just literally go ahead and copy paste it um, and using Backpack to go ahead and get that code out. This is great for if you have some sort of randomized coding in there where perhaps you have a game that different sprites are bouncing around and you have to somehow attack them and you want them to function the same way. The Backpack is a good uh, tool to utilize for that. Now the other thing is that you can actually go ahead and drag in sounds. So if I were to go ahead and record a sound here and I wanted to have that same exact sound for another sprite, the first time I did Scratch I thought, oh shoot, I'm going to have to go ahead and record the exact same thing for the other two sprites, which is impossible because I can't repeat those sounds. However, what you can do is you can click and drag the sound down into the backpack and then if I were to go ahead and go to another ballerina, well, since the pop is here, I'll go ahead and erase this so you can see. If you drag it up there, now go ahead. it goes ahead and it copies it straight in there. So you can literally take sounds from different sprites and then code them into other sprites. So you can have that same sound no matter what it is that you're doing. Okay. Um, now there are a couple of other things that you can go ahead and drag into um, the backpack here, but for the sake of time I'm going to go ahead and pause on that. Uh, but I would encourage you to go ahead and explore what it is that the backpack can do because it's very versatile, especially for gaming. If you need to repeat or recreate the exact same sprite or the exact same co code multiple times over.